Tesla and Archer Aviation have been dropping major hints about something special happening. I've spoken to a few specialists and you've all wanted to know what our opinion is as we're the biggest Archer Aviation creator on YouTube. Let's talk. So my name's Liam and I am one of the Hossa brothers. And yes, I have been speaking to a few specialists. My mind has been completely blown about what's been going on over the last few days. So today, what I'm going to do for anyone that's in Tesla, I'm going to do a 30 second rundown on what Archer Aviation is. Then for all you Archer investors, we're going to say exactly what's happened, what everyone has been saying about it, what's been speculated, where we can see it going, and then what the specialists have been saying. And then I've got a bonus. Tesla have just dropped another major hint. So we're going to want to see that. So stick around till the end. So guys, what is Archer Aviation? So what is Archer Aviation? So really, they're an air taxi company where they're going to passenger four passengers and a pilot, making 30 to 45 minute trips around 10 to 15 minutes long. They have a vehicle called the Midnight. Looks very beautiful, doesn't it? And look, they are one of the major players in the game. Their only real competition there is Joby Aviation, who are that bit further ahead. And they have a partnership with Uber. And this is where Tesla come into it. And a lot of speculation has been happening. So what has been happening over the last while? Well, both Tesla and Archer were at the UP Summit, and that's not where it ends. So Adam Goldstein, who is the CEO of Archer Aviation, posted this picture here, where we do see the Midnight up beside Robo Taxis and Optimus Robots. He's captioned this, more hell yes, from the UP Summit. Now, initially, I thought this could be a little bit of PR. You've met with Tesla and you're both at the summit. And look, Adam can be a man that likes to push PR. And I thought it was going to end there. A few days later, Archer Aviation then posted this video. And we can see here that they're clearly highlighting that Tesla and Archer have something dropping. Look, we haven't seen direct links, but why would you have... Archer Aviation's logo reflection on the monitor of a robot taxi and then having Optimus there. Yes, you could say they're just showing that they did meet with Tesla at the UP Summit. But then it doesn't end there. Tesla then dropped this major video and it made everyone on X go absolutely wild. So what's interesting about this, when I first initially seen it, I thought it was definitely a rim of a car. What is everyone going crazy about? But then, when you actually click into it, let me play the sound of this. Hear that whooshing sound. That sounds like a turbine. That sounds like, in my head, first of all, it sounds like a helicopter. It sounds like an aerospace play. And then I've been doing a bit of deep diving around, and people are saying, why would you risk as Archer Aviation, why would you risk a lawsuit with Tesla? You know Archer can battle lawsuits, but going up against someone like Tesla, that'd be pretty dangerous just for a bit of PR. So we did then get another drop from Tesla, and I will go a little bit further into this in a bit. But before that, I then started diving around X, seeing what the sentiment is, and I did reach out to a few Tesla creators. So the first theory is, and this is probably the one I initially thought it could be, but my mind has changed. So initially, we know Archer's biggest competition, Joby, who have the S4, and they do the same thing, carry four passengers and a pilot, and they're that little bit further ahead. Their partnership with Uber allows them to have the Uber Elevate app, but also be listed on the Uber app. And I thought, look, with full self-driving coming out, are Tesla sort of marrying up this new technology, this 3D mobility? Are you going to get full self-driving vehicles and robot taxis bringing you to Vertiport and then you're able to more or less teleport, and that's in Tesla's words, to your next location? But then I dove into some of the tesla spaces and i actually brought one of my boys dylan with me just so i didn't look at it at a bias standpoint so some of the guys were saying it could be a data partnership where look 
Archer could be using full self-drive and data because we know this whole industry is going autonomous. It could be that. Then the third theory is it could be an opposite way partnership. So some of the Tesla theories are, they're bringing out the new Roadster. And just remember that, the Roadster. But with the Roadster, you need it to do the opposite of what Archer Aviation does. Archer Aviation uses these fans for lift. But with the Roadster, if you want to make it extremely quick, you need extreme downforce. And could one of these turbines be for downforce? And would they use Archer Aviation's technology for that? So then the fourth theory, and I think I can kind of debunk this after speaking to our pilot and aerospace engineer. Some of the Tesla bulls believe that the Roadster could be a flying car or basically an eVTOL. Let me explain that making a flying car with just duct fans on the side of it makes it extremely dangerous if one of these fans fail because there's no redundancy system really. Um, plus the Tesla Roadster will be extremely heavy compared to any of these eVTOLs. Most of them made from carbon fibre. Again, as Mark has been saying, it's okay if you hit a deer in a car and damage your car, but if, if you even have a slight dent on your car, that can affect an airframe of a flying vehicle. If you wanted to make an eVTOL, really you want it to have wings. And I can't really see why Tesla would be going for extreme performance in the Roadster on the ground when it has the ability to fly. So for me, that theory is completely out of the water. And really, why would Adam Goldstein be so excited about Tesla entering the eVTOL industry because there'd be extreme competition to Archer Aviation. The fifth one, we have some people believe it could be a buyout, an acquisition. I don't believe so. Look, yes, Tesla could swallow up this whole industry if they really wanted to, but we've heard Elon many, many times say he's concentrating on the problem of 2D mobility at the moment here. So I believe he could invest in the space and partner with Virtual Aviation, but I don't think he's going to go full on Tesla um, eVTOL until they get full self-driving banged out. And then I spoke to a few specialists. And one, if any of you follow her, Nicole Josephine, actually really opened my mind. So think of it like this. Tesla are well known for licensing their plug-in power docks to other auto manufacturers for free. The reason they do this is because they make bank when any of these cars come to a Tesla power station it only fits a Tesla port. So therefore, yes, Tesla have given away their technology for free, but you then are stuck using a Tesla power station. Could they be licensing their power dock technology so Tesla more or less own the power stations at the vert ports? That'd be an interesting play. But then we need to get on to Tesla's latest announcement. And it's been this. Guys, what is happening? Do you know what? To me, this is just a roadster announcement. So X has been going crazy. Archer investors have been going crazy. Is there any material behind it? Let me know in the comments.